question try this one there are 20 cities in a country each pair of cities is connected by an air route how many air routes are there lovely there are 20 cities so if there are 3 or 4 i'll say a b c a b c d there are 20 it becomes tough to remember so i'm going to call it as city 1 city 2 city 3 city 4 all the way to city 20 lovely each one of them each pair of cities is connected by an air route so c1 c5 there's an air route c2 c9 there's an air route c19 c20 there's an air route c16 c11 there's an air route we want to count how many air routes are there we cannot simply randomly write them any time you have any of these how many questions you have to say okay let me write down few and then you have to say i'm going to write down with a pattern with a plan with an approach with a some method for counting everything so i'm going to say i'm going to write everything from c1 so c1 c2 c1 c3 c1 c4 c1 c5 c1 c6 all the way till c1 c20 so from c1 we have 19 routes why c1 c2 c2 c1 c2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 till 20 everything is connected from c1 19 possible routes from c2 what can we have think about it c2 c3 c2 c4 c2 c5 i'll count all of that c2 c1 i won't count that why will i not count that because c2 c1 has already been counted it's like saying there is a route from bombay to chennai I will count it as a Bombay Chennai route. I cannot say there is a route from Bombay to Chennai and from Chennai to Bombay. C1, C3 is a route. C3, C1 is the same route. Likewise, C1, C2 I have counted. From C2, I won't count that. I will count only the remaining. 18 are there. From C3, how many will I count? 17 will be there. C4 to C20. From C4, how many are there? 16 will be there. C5 to C20 all the way to c19 one route c9 c19 c20 from c20 there are zero routes why zero routes because i've counted everything everything to c20 i've counted so from c20 to something i don't need to count because i've counted all of this anyway so what will be total air routes how many are there now all i have to do is add up all of them add up all numbers natural numbers from 1 to 19 this is tricky how do i add up all numbers from 1 to 19 i can do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's going to take time so what do i do i take 1 i combine it with 19 i get 20 i take 18 and 2 that's 20 17 and 3 that is 20 so 1 and 19 2 and 18 3 and 17 4 and 16 all of these add up to 20 all the way till what? 9 and 11. 9 plus 11 is 20. So this is 20, 20, 20. Finally, there is a 10 as well at the end of it. So what will be my total? 20 into 9 plus this 10. 180 plus 10, which is 190. And so there's a beautiful formula for this. I'm going to give you that formula also. Whenever you are adding natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, all the way till n, sum of all natural numbers till n is n into n plus 1 by 2. So sum of all natural numbers till 19, 19 into 20 divided by 2, n into n plus 1 divided by 2 n is 19 i'm adding all natural numbers till 19 19 into 19 plus 1 19 into 20 by 2 sum of all natural numbers till n is n into n plus 1 by 2 brilliant we've done this so i'm going to think about why does this formula hold good right a brilliant idea what we are doing here effectively writing in pairs and so if you're adding 1 2 3 all the way till n you add these two you'll get n plus 1 you add this and the number before that sum of those two will be n plus one why from one to two i add one from n to n minus one i subtract one and one plus n is n plus one i add one subtract one add one subtract one add one subtract one my total cannot change so each pair adds up to n plus one how many such pairs are there totally n numbers n by two pairs will be there n by two 
into n plus 1. I know what you are thinking. You know, I know, I know exactly what you are thinking. See, I am also smart. You are thinking, this will not work when n is even. This will not work when n is odd. How can there be n by 2 pairs? If I add all numbers till 17, I cannot say there will be 17 by 2 pairs. But the formula still works. So, I want you to figure out why the formula works. How does it work when there are an odd number of numbers? So, think about that. But the formula definitely works. Right? Now, this question I am going to do slightly differently. Same approach. C1, C2, C3, all the way till C20. I am going to say from C1 there are 19 roots. From C1 I can go to 19 different cities, 19 roots. Done. From C2 there are 19 roots. From C2 I can go to other 19 cities, 19 roots. From C3 there are 19 roots. From C20 there are 19 roots. Why should I count C1, C2 only as part of C1? I will count it as C1, C2 and I will count it from part of C2. Suppose you are listing down all the cities. You cannot say everybody can go to the, the final city. You can't go from the final city to anywhere. You can. Why should we discriminate against C20? So from each city there are 19 roots. But now think about it. From each from C1 to C5, you would have counted that route. That same route, you would have counted from C5 to C1 also. So every route you count twice when we do this method. The total number of things is 19 into 20. But this total number double counts everything. So if I take one route C5, C7, I'll count it as C5, C7 and as C7, C5. I'm counting Bombay, Chennai and Chennai, Bombay. Bangalore, Delhi and Delhi, Bangalore. I shouldn't. So what do I do? I know I'm double counting. How do I adjust for it? I'll say, okay, it's not 19 into 20. It's 19 into 2 by 2. I doubled everything. So I'll divide by 2. Or this is 19 into 10, which is 100. Lovely. So there are different ways of thinking about this. One is form like, one is a simple approach that we saw. Other is this approach where we double count and then divide by 2. Lovely. I'm going to go to the next question.